So we're over here at our Project Blow Your Mind, and this is the Port in Place wall. And you can see here we have uh, these little, not rivets, but you can see these little access points, right? And it gives the little detail to that Port in Place. So what this is called is called a cone tie. So what ends up happening is, you saw in pre-construction we had these formed up, and the forms are really tight, and what you have to prevent is blowout, right? You think of, as you're pouring a place uh, concrete in a wall, you know, especially with gravity, as you're pouring down the pressure, you know, it, you have a tendency where these walls can blow out. And so what you need are these fiberglass rods. You can see, if you zoom in here, there's a fiberglass rod that runs through the middle of the wall. And the whole purpose of that has nothing to do with the structural integrity of the concrete. What it does is it actually ties the forms on both sides of the wall. So as you're forming that, those fiberglass rods come in, they tie the forms together, and then what ends up happening is you actually have a cone. So think of it like the tip of a cone here goes through the form, it ties and cinches those rods, and so now these forms are tied together, prevents blowout from all the pressure coming down as they're pouring the concrete. You know, they're vibrating the concrete to get the, this actual texture. This was by intent, so not only is it a component to keep blowout from happening, which is a must to have these rods, we're gonna show you a board form concrete video, how we did it for that application. But the cone was intentional because you want this look, you want these holes as that is part of the design, it gives that detail. This design is Scandinavian modern, right? And so with that, there's about seven different finishes that go into the architecture. You have poured in place concrete, board form concrete, stone, brick, wood, steel, glass. These are all elements that are gonna add to the features, give it that industrial look, but also warm and inviting. And so that is how, why you'll see these holes and as you look in, and most people will never see those rods, but that is a must to prevent any issues as you're installing and curing the concrete wall. This right here, this is a cone that we have not removed yet. This is so you can see what that looks like. So that cone and rod create that, uh, that tension there to keep the wall together. And then we'll remove that cone. You'll see the rod that gets cut off and it gives you that uh, amazing detail. Now in follow-up to the port in place concrete, we're here at our board form wall. In this house are uh, many accent walls and structural walls that have the board form concrete. And again, one thing that's really difficult to achieve, when you're forming a board form wall, you can see that here, this is all formed with wood two by six, right? And it gives you this natural wood element that is concrete. Well, again, a big issue similar to the port in place is that blowout. You know, with all the pressure, all the weight as that concrete's being pumped down, and then vibrate it through, right, to get this, achieve this look, and you have the form super tight. You have these fiberglass rods, which is mandatory. So the rods run through the form, through the board form, and they connect, right? They, they connect almost similar, you think about post tension, right? There's caps on the end that connect these fiber rods. And you can see them here, so at the end, and most people never notice this, but these get cut off. And so these fiber rods are in here, and they're cut off, and they almost look like railroad ties, right? Like nail ties, you know, as you're thinking of wood, a nail head, that was in the wood, so it gives this really rustic, uh, yet modern look to the design and the aesthetic here, but it's also super functional to prevent any blowout, any forms from getting knocked out, and then achieves this look. And what's really neat about this area, so we are actually standing in the, one of the guest suites. We actually have three guest suites in this residence, but what's neat is you can see here now that our framers have been moving along, this board form wall, this is the bed wall, so the bed's gonna be here facing this way, and you have windows, steel, steel and glass windows that come up each side, over the top, down the side. So you have this incredible bedroom, ton of natural light, tall header, and this is your bed wall, your accent wall. So this will be a really fun one to show with the board form, the steel and glass, as this is finished. And you can see that even though it's a concrete wall, we did pre-plumb it. We have the electrical outlets, the switch, you know, for the lighting up above. So again, that planning is really key, really important by our project manager, Spencer, that's been very involved in this project. <laughs>